This is gonna be the work of the next, like, 20 episodes, I'll bet. Oh well. Today we're doing something different. We're gonna take a break from that. And... <sighs> Look at how much dirt I have in my backpack. Oh my god. Uh, we are going to progress forward with the Create mod. And we are going to finish our house. Now our end goal for this episode is an elevator pulley. Let me just pin that. Because I want to replace the ladder that goes up and down here, this part of the house. I want to replace it with an elevator because I think it's cool. So in order to do that, we need a brass casing, which means we need brass. And the only way to get brass is via mixing it with the, a blaze burner. So we need a blaze burner. In order to get a blaze burner, we need netherrack and four iron sheets. So let's just grab four iron sheets real quick. And now we have a blaze burner, an empty blaze burner. And we need to fill this with a blaze, like an actual like blaze, a live blaze. We can't use like blaze rods or anything. Now I could pour it out to like here, but I'd have to find where my... Because my nether portal that goes to the nether fortress is around here somewhere. But I'd have to find where to dig down for that. And I think they'd just take less time to go through my normal portal. I could... I'm thinking about maybe building a highway there. Because it's really, really far away. But I think it'd be better if I just used the other village as a warp point And instead made the other portal more accessible. Yeah, trying to make a highway through all this would be miserable. This was a bad idea. Also, what what blocks are these? Oh my god, oh my god. Activate the... Oh. Blaze Lantern. B blaze. Blaze Lantern. Hello. Okay, I am in, in incredible danger until my flamingo recharges. Oh my god, is that a ruined nether portal? <laughs> Just hand it to me, why don't you? Wow. Okay. Oh my god, it's it's a it's an almost completely complete oh god. Okay, those guys aren't too tough. I brought my flint and steel, right? Yes. Jeez, okay. What is this? Oh, you can't use crying obsidian for the portal, right? I'll take the crying obsidian though, it's very very good. Yeah. Little Minecraft fact for you. If you sneak on... Oh my god. It's a lot of arrows. Tablet of cloud shaping. I'll take that. I'll take the wild and spikes. The <laughs> golden knife with mending. <laughs> golden hoe with efficiency four. Uh, I'll take the fire charge and I think that'll, that'll do me. That'll do me four. But um, if you sneak on magma... It doesn't actually damage you. Okay, so I need two pieces. Oh my god! Bone serpent jump scare. Okay, you can't actually hurt me. I'm too well armored. Okay. You coming? You gonna come at me? You gonna come at me, bro? That's the crying obsidian. Okay. Actually, wait, hold on, let me. <laughs> that was a stroke of luck. I wonder where this portal's gonna put me out. Probably like, close to like bedrock or something. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what I expected. Anything interesting around here? A mine shaft. And a couple of geo. Oh, that's a dragon lair. That is a fire dragon lair. Uh, that's another fire dragon lair. I forgot I turned the spawn rate of those up. Ooh. 
Oh, we're in a fire dragon sandwich. Um, what's the best way? I want to. I want to like be able to get back down. That should be recognizable enough from a distance, right? Oh, that's a dragon. Uh, with a dragon this close to the village, I kind of got to kill it. Because otherwise it's going to destroy the village. Shouldn't be too hard anymore. Yeah, he can't even hurt me. Fire can hurt me. Jeez, you have a lot of health. Just die already. Okay, he died already. Oh boy. More dragon scales is always good. Is that obsidian? Yeah, it's obsidian. Who needs obsidian? A single bone in this chest. Man, this guy was nothing. He was a stage three. He got two chests in his horde. This guy was a chump. He he barely even has any gold too. <laughs> like what, what was this guy doing? There's another ruined portal over there. I should check that out. And I'll take the block of gold. And I'll take the crying obsidian too, actually, because I do need crying obsidian. Uh, specifically, it's three crying obsidian to upgrade my enchanting infuser, and I want to upgrade my enchanting infuser. I want to upgrade it so badly. Okay. Home. So now that we have our blaze burner, we need a mixer, because we don't actually have one of those, right? Yeah, we don't actually have a mixer. So in order to make a mixture, mi mixer, we need an andesite casing and a cog wheel. So we need to grab some wood products real quick. Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, th this is private property, sir. I claim self-defense. What's that law in, like, Florida that legally lets you murder people who enter your house? Uh, the, the stand your ground law or something? I claim that. Okay, I turned all of the logs into planks because I am not intelligent. Okay. Actually, we're gonna need more casing. I can I can feel it, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of Alright, and now we need a whisk. Which needs five iron sheets. Oh my god. I really should just, like, make a second terminal, like, back here so I can access... Actually, you know what? I could just do this. <laughs> there. Now I don't have to go all the way around into my house. I'll probably put, like, a trap door on that or something. Okay, now we make the whisk and the mixer. Now the mixer is going to be really annoying to place because it requires horizontal gear input. Actually, I could make this a whole lot easier on myself if I just put it here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm not done yet. I need a basin. I'm pretty sure I know how to craft that, but yeah, it's just this. 
put the base in here. And then we put the blaze burner underneath the basin. And then we basically treat the blaze burner like a furnace and give it planks and coal and stuff. And then it'll, it'll heat up and then we'll be able to do stuff. So we need an elevator pulley. And to do that, we need a brass casing. And in order to make a brass casing, we need a brass ingot. In order to make a brass ingot, we need to mix together one copper and one zinc. I'm pretty sure I have both of those. I have copper. I do not have zinc. I do not have any zinc. Okay, there's zinc right here. Oh my god. Vandal. He got his... So I'm not too concerned, but... Who does that Enderman think he is? Leaving dirt blocks in my house. And this can also craft anything with a shapeless recipe. And shapeless is like it doesn't matter where in the crafting grid it is. So like, uh, planks are shapeless because it doesn't matter what segment of the grid it's in. Um, what else is shapeless? I, th I think it also can craft like full blocks of stuff. But it's like... um. Uh, books are shapeless. Because it's just one leather, three paper. Don't ask how a mixer crafts a book. It doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. Now we have an elevator pulley to make. So let's we'll put this down. Turn it into a brass casing. We've got a brass casing now. And now we need an iron sheet. And luckily I have got iron ore on me that is smeltable. We also need a block of dried kelp. Now I did plan ahead. As you can see here, I planted kelp last episode. I went and got it from the ocean. You're eating my kelp. Don't eat my kelp. Uh, I can't actually use the bulk blaster on kelp. It'll just turn it into, da into dust. So I can still do that, though. I can use the smoker, which is why I have a smoker, because it, it works on everything that the blast furnace doesn't. Elevator pulley. And now we have an elevator pulley. Now, I could make more of these, because you can actually do, like... In fact, yeah, I think I will make more. Because they're, they're pretty darn cheap, all things considered. I mean, they do take a brass and get a piece. And an entire block of dried kelp, which is going to be annoying. Okay. And while we wait for the others to smelt, we'll set up what we have here. So what we're going to do is, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm hoping that this structure will alleviate a lot of the weirdness that my house currently has due to its very awkwardly proportioned tower. Alright, um, and then basically what we need is to put these pulleys like the man like this and then we need a a rotational force thing up here and we could use another windmill but then I'd have like a big windmill blocking blocking my screen blocking my view from this window. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to be really stupid and I'm going to make a water wheel up here instead. That. And that is going to turn the water wheel. Now the thing with water wheels is it doesn't actually matter how many sides are hit with water. 
it used to, but it doesn't anymore, which is another one of the benefits of this version of the Create mod. Oop. Okay, that is the spin point. But this is going to be the slowest elevator ever devised in the history of mankind, so... Okay, that does stop it. Now this can be as ugly as I care to make it, because I am never going to see it. I do, however, need to make it functional. Because if it's not functional, then it's pointless. Don't overstress, please. Whew, okay. So now we have a, a water-powered elevator, and I am gonna I'm gonna probably gonna like cover all of this up eventually, but let's focus on the elevator for now. Um, so I want an axe here and here, and this is the important one, and here and here, and then we're just gonna take out this entire floor. Uh, I could make it out of arch wood. Ooh, that would be interesting just seal that up like that and then we want to go grab a super glue what we can do with the super glue is use it to bind blocks together into contraptions but we're not done building the elevator yet basically just okay we're still not done though because we've built the structure of the elevator but we need one more critical component we need a contraption control which takes an andesite casing It takes a button. Does it have to be a stone button? No, it can be a it can be a wood button. Okay. And it takes an electron tube, which takes an iron sheet. That's not that's not difficult at all. But it also takes uh, rose quartz, and we need to do a whole bunch of stuff to make rose quartz. Uh, hear me out here. Sand. Paper. And then we want quartz and redstone dust to make rose quartz. Which is, I'm pretty sure that's not how rose quartz works. And we sand the rose quartz to get polished rose quartz, which we then combine with the plate I already picked up to make an electron tube, which we then make into contraption controls. We're still not done, though. Because we need... Uh, I still have doors, right? Yes, I still have doors. And that gives me an andesite door. Which is just going to be a unique little flourish on it. But we also need... Uh, what is it? Ah, okay. We need contacts. We need redstone contacts. That's what you use. It's just... Um... Redstone contacts. Those are super easy. There we go. And then what we want to do is we actually didn't need four pairs of these. I, I overcrafted. Oops. We want to put one... want to put one here. One here. Nope. 
We want them to be facing each other, preferably. There we go. One here. Oh, you're kidding me. This is directly on top of the, <laughs> the chunk loader. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing. We want to... This this element, this this coordinate of the house... Let me just move this chunk loader real quick. Pretty sure that's still here. F3H. Nope, F3G. Oh, it's in a different chunk. That's why I put it here. Uh, but I can put it... Oh my god, is this going to clip through my farm? It is! Oh, I gotta make it smaller then. Or I could just, like... Shrink my farm. It'd be ugly and lopsided, but I could shrink my farm. Because I don't need this much food anyway. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to shrink my farm. I at least don't need this much cabbage, because I have way too much cabbage and not enough carrots. Okay, so on this, on this, conveniently enough, this pillar. Nice little marker. want to do that. And then, oh, and then... We do that. And then we got to do the same thing for the lower floor, but I'm going to wait on that. Okay, so first of all, we got a bunch of stuff to move down here. No, no, don't cut the shield. gonna be a bit scuffed, but I'll, I'll live with it. Okay. And then we tear out this portion of the floor. And then we tear out this portion of the floor. And then we just gotta tear down this ladder. Now, the only real disadvantage with this is I now have a massive hole in my floor that I can now fall into. So, yeah. I think I'm actually going to remove two more rows. Oh, boy. I'll work this all out probably, like, in between episodes or something. I'll do a little building off camera, if you know what I mean. And if you know what I mean, that's good, because I don't think I know what I mean. Anyway. We got this now. And it's nice. Might want to consider investing in a door on this face. But, um... In the meantime... Of course, there's a flaw. I'm going to need to move this door to here. Let me, I'll do that right now, before I forget. I don't even know why I'm moving it. I can just keep keep the door here. No, keep it here. Of course, I can't call the elevator from here, so there's very little point to it. I'll, I'll keep the doorway. I won't keep the door, but I'll keep the doorway. And then what I do is... Oh, wait, I have to actually assemble the elevator first. Um, contraption controls. We put them like here. And then we just gotta super glue this whole thing together. So we start with this block. And we end with this block. And that should get everything. And now. All we have to do is right click. And that assembles our contraption. And now these are elevator contacts.
and now we have an elevator. There we go. Also, this elevator needs a light in it, honestly. Then, reassemble. And that little puff of green meant it should be automatically attached, and it closes, and it opens again. Right, okay. Um, not having a wall kind of undermines the whole door thing. Also, I keep forgetting you can't actually build on this while it's assembled. Isn't this so much better than a friggin' ladder? Who needs ladders? Ladders are for chumps. Elevators are where it's at. Alright. But I want this to go all the way down to my mine. thing I want to do before I go too deep is to make sure that I have a redstone contact and my oak button on me so that I can set up an elevator stop down there. Now this is going to take a long time. So I'll just kind of speed run through this. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the actual one I use to go to the cave is in the opposite direction of the rest of my doors. It's a bit of an oversight, but... Yeah, okay, I put it in the wrong place. So it's not over here, it's actually over here. Which actually does mean it's in the right direction. Okay, so I, I was just crazy. So I believe I can do this. Yeah, and then it auto-converts. Where's my button? Beautiful. I wonder if I want to actually put walls on the other three faces. I'm not even sure I want to keep the door, honestly. Because it's, it's redundant. It's redundant here. It's redundant here. It's just not redundant here. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna keep the door. I think I can't modify it while it's assembled. I wonder if I could put the doors on like the stops. And have them be doors at the stops. I also like how the water doesn't actually make any flowing noise until it's flowing more than a block. So I thought I'd have to deal with having the waters flowing constantly, but no. Alright, so I got a nice little balcony here now. No. What if I put the door directly adjacent to the... Ooh, it does. Okay, so I have to move the contact. Because there's no way I'm having my doors lopsided like this. That's just... There's no universe in which that happens. My my last few birch doors finally coming in handy. We've eaten through our door surplus. Turns out I needed every last door. I think I crafted one too. No, I did not.
So what I need to do is... I think I might want to put a trap door up here. And we have... And then we just have the contact here. set up the other floors. We don't need a door down here. <sighs> oh. oh, that's perfect. Or up here. We don't need a door up here either. Okay. Okay, and that would just about do it for me for this episode. We now have a fully functional elevator. Am I the only one who heard that? We now have a fully functional elevator in our house. So, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.